Hey, it's Drew. And today I'll be walking you through server-side Y-Stamp configuration for Google Workspace, ensuring professional and always up-to-date email signatures across all devices and email clients with no need for extra apps or add-ons. Before you begin, make sure you've integrated Google Workspace app with Y-Stamp. If you haven't done this already, you can follow along our how-to videos and Help Center articles on each of these steps. Now that you're ready for the next step, let's begin by starting the Y-Stamp connector wizard. This wizard guides you through the Google Workspace configuration to support Y-Stamp's server-side solution. From the panel on the left, click Connectors. In the server-side section, click Connect, and then select Google Workspace. You'll then see a list of your domains. Select the domains that you want to integrate with Ystamp and click Connect. Now you'll get this pop-up letting you know that you need to continue the configuration using the Google Workspace Admin Console. It also includes the routing code required for the configuration. Click the copy icon to copy the routing code. You'll be using this code a couple of times throughout this process. Now for our next step. Add a new mail host to serve as the outbound connector to the Ystamp server-side host. This is where the routing code that you copied in Step 3 comes in handy. From the Google Workspace Admin Console, go to Settings for Gmail. Click the Hosts section, then click Add Root. Configure the new mail route as follows. Enter a name for the new host. I'll use Ystamp. In the Specify Email Server section, Make sure that single host is selected from the drop-down list. In the next field below, enter your routing code followed by gw.smtp.ystamp.net. Enter 25 as the port number for the host configuration. In the Options section, select all checkboxes except for Perform MX Lookup on Host. Click Save and move on to the next step. Configure the SMTP relay service. This is to set up routing for the inbound connector and then receive the email back from the Ystamp server. From the Google Workspace Admin Console, go to Settings for Gmail. Click the Routing section and go to the SMTP relay service section. Click Add Another Rule or Configure. Now you will enter a description for the service, for example, receive from Ystamp. Click the Allowed Senders drop-down list and select Only Addresses in My Domains. In the Authentication section, select Only Accept Mail from the specified IP addresses. Click Add. Here you'll get a pop-up where you'll do the following. For each IP address, enter a unique and relevant description. For this example, I'll use Ystamp IP1, Ystamp IP2, and so on, up to Ystamp IP7. Then individually input these IP addresses. You can copy-paste them directly from our Help Center article on this topic. Now click Enable, then Save. Navigate to the Encryption section. Select Require TLS Encryption, then click Save again. Moving on to our next step, configure the compliance rule. From the Google Workspace Admin Console, go to Settings for Gmail. Click the Compliance section and go to the Content Compliance section. If you already have rules from other third-party services, this might mean temporarily deleting them, then setting them back up so that Ystamp can be the first rule. Now, for our next step. Click Add Another Rule or Configure. Configure the content compliance as follows. Enter a description for the rule. For example, Route Ystamp. In the Email Messages to Effect section, select Outbound and Internal Sending. In the Expression section, Verify that if all of the following match the message is selected. Click Add. In this pop-up, select 
Advanced Content Match from the drop-down list. Configure the following settings. For location, select Full Headers. For match type, select Not Contains Text. And for content, copy and paste this text, which you can find in our Help Center article. Click Save. Now click Add again. Select Advanced Content Match and create a rule with the following settings. For location, select Full Headers again, and then set Match Type to Not Matches Regex. Then, for content, copy-paste this text, and click Save. Click the If the Above Expressions Match drop-down list, and select Modify Message. In the Headers section, select Add Custom Headers, and click Add. In this pop-up, create a header with the following parameters. Header key. Copy this text. Header value. Paste the Y stamp routing code here. Click Save. In the Route section, select Change Route. Click the Normal Routing drop-down list and select the outbound connector route that you created earlier. In the Encryption section, select Require Secure Transport. Click Save. Now that you have completed all configurations on Google Workspace, you're ready for Step 8, where you finish the Y-Stamp Connector Wizard. Great job! Navigate back to the Y-Stamp Connector Wizard and click Connect to finish the wizard. This is the management page for this connector, where you can do more configurations and see its current status. Now you can perform a validity check by simply sending a test email. You should see your professional email signature at the bottom of your email. Looks great! Remember that once you start using the server-side solution, and you're not in hybrid mode, you won't see your Y-Stamp signatures during email composition or on emails in the sent folder. But you can rest assured that your recipients will see them, and they will be impressed. For more information on post-configuration, check out the next video in this server-side Google Workspace configuration mini-series. Thank you for choosing Ystamp to generate and manage your professional email signatures.